special case for the components of a force is when the axis is uh, when they are perpendicular with each other. So uh, remember this uh, figure. Let's let's make a perpendicular axis, and we have here okay our perpendicular axis. So usually this is the x and y axis, okay. And let's have here a force. Again, this is a force F, which is inclined with the perpendicular. Usually, I, I label this as the angle theta sub x, and this one is the angle theta sub y. And it, it means it's the angle that the force makes with the x-axis. That's why theta sub x. And this one is the angle that the force makes with the y axis theta sub y and another way of thinking about it it's the an angle towards x and the angle towards y now using our developed understanding of the components of the force here uh, we can write this down okay we can write this down as we can write this down as F sub x is equal to okay, F times sine b. So in this case, b would be theta y. Sine of theta y over sine of c, which is the sine of 180 degrees minus the sum theta x plus theta y. Okay, and similarly, uh, Fy is just plug in the angles, but I, I want to concentrate on, on this value here. We can actually simplify this because we have the we have a right right hand right axis here. They, they meet at the right angle. Okay. So, because they meet at the right angle, we know that the sine of theta y is equal to the cosine of theta x. And this is from uh, the trigonometric identity that the sine of theta y is equal to the cosine of 90 degrees minus theta y. And which is the 90 degrees minus theta y is the complement of theta y. Is in this case it's theta x it's it's 90 minus theta y theta x is 90 minus theta y so we have this property and what what we can do is we can actually replace this okay replace this with cosine of theta x so well we have not really simplified our equation uh we just made something different but okay bear with me as we look at the denominator now looking at this denominator since the axes are perpendicular then theta x and theta y must be 90 degrees and the whole equation below simplifies to the sine of 90 degrees which is equal to 1 and since that is 1 uh I'm I'm telling you that this value here, okay, fx here, becomes f sub x is equal to f times cosine theta x over 1 or just simply f times cosine theta x. And similarly, using the same steps we have, f sub y is equal to f cosine of theta y. And... Of course, basic trigonometry will, will tell you that this is true. If, if you make a triangle here and to get, and this is a right triangle, and to get fx, you simply uh, multiply f by the cosine of this angle. And this is just a different way of showing it, uh, starting from what we learned about the components of uh, forces. So... I like to represent the components of the forces using this equation 
especially when when the axes are pen- perpendicular because it's it's easier for me and I can understand that the component of f in the x axis is f times the cosine of the angle towards that axis so in in or toward the x axis so similarly in the the component in the y axis is f times the cosine of the angle towards the y axis so that that is how i remember this equation okay and and this is only for rectangular okay rectangular uh, components which means that the axes are perpendicular to each other